You've done it, Colin. Coriolanus, Lear, fantastic stuff. What's left? Do some of them again properly. Do some of them again with a greater freedom, maybe, um, with a sense of, well. What do you mean, do some of them properly? You're Lear, come on, man. Lear was pretty good, and probably won't touch that again for a while. Um, that worked out very well, but it also was really, really hard. You know, I, I, I trashed Ben Campbell. We had both done his dad's Lear, and I trashed him on national radio, because <laughs> I'd met him and we'd had a beer after he'd done it. I remember that. And he did, he did it in, he did in Calgary and Vancouver, yeah. and me and him and, and, and Joe Ziegler had a beer over at Foster's or something. <laughs> and I said, my God, Lear was the hardest damn thing I've ever done. Unbelievable. And Ben said, I said, four, you know, I, I laughed at Christopher Plummer. Chris says, I'm, I'm going to do New York, but I'll only do five. I thought, what a wuss. And I could barely do four. And Plummer's 100 years older than me. And I thought, okay, Chris, he's, and Chris is always right. So I thought, I understand now what he's talking about. And Ben said, I don't know what you're talking about. I did eight a week. It was fine. I did, loved it. I did. Oh, well, clearly you weren't doing it properly. <laughs> you know, it's a terrible thing to say. Because we're all supposed to be able to do it eight times a week. And I think you can, but here's the caveat. If you do it eight times a week, you gotta be smart. You gotta save. If you do it four, like it's an opera, then you treat it like Wagner, and you go, I don't give a shit. balls to the wall. I'm giving you everything here. I'm gonna leave this theater utterly shredded, spent, finished, that's it. There is no evening performance. There's no matinee tomorrow. I'm gonna do it again in a couple of days. I'm gonna think, put it back together, and hit it again. And that's what we did. And every time we raised the bar, every time we ratcheted it up. So, you know, I would have this discussion with Ben. I'm sure he was a much better leader than me and probably much more, you know, there's a lot of things we would do differently. But I chose to do it that way because it's the only way I understand. And so I, would, I will revisit things if I'm given the opportunity and I will do it with, hopefully with a grace and, and a sense of, huh, there's that terrible joke where the punchline is, let's walk down and fuck them all. I'm there now. I want to see you do Lady Bracknell. Wow. That's going to be, that'll be hard. That'll be really hard. I'd love to try that. That'll be hard. I am the ugliest woman in living history. I did it in a Stephen <laughs> King thing, and I was so ugly. They did seven hours of, of, of prosthetic makeup, and even with large breasts. I, I was not suitable for television. I can tell you how, and I'll leave you with this. As I passed from the makeup trailer, having spent at least five hours in a full rubber head, breast, clothes, the whole thing, I passed the director's wife and daughter on my way in to show the director to audition this look, and I heard them say the fateful words, poor woman, she's trying so hard. So, I look forward to the chance.